Hello everyone and welcome back to Bad Movie Review. Tonight I'd like to briefly discuss the movie Frogs with you. Straight out of 1972, this little gem is uh, breaks the mold a little bit for 70s movies. See, the 70s was great for movies. Uh, they gave us The Exorcist, Superman, Star Wars, and they also gave us this mess. Uh, you see, in, in this particular movie, it's one of those uh, man versus nature, what we're now calling eco-horror films. Um, the plot revolves around fl freelance photographer Pickett Smith, who's out taking pictures of pollution as the opening credits roll, but then he's run over by a, a boater named Clint who uh, has been sort of drinking a little bit from his pull-tab can of Budweiser. And Clint takes Pickett to his family's island, where they're about to celebrate the 4th of July weekend and their patriarch's birthday. And of course, everything goes completely awry, and people start dying. Well, the movie's called Frogs, and we see a lot of frogs, but the frogs don't actually do anything. They just sort of sit around and blorp. Which I assume they're blorping uh, their commands to their animal companions or minions or something. Because uh, the frogs don't kill anyone. They just sit around and use their frog psychic powers. Um, and get snakes to do their dirty work. Uh, somebody gets attacked by butterflies. Uh, there's some birds that may or may not have killed the cook and the butler, who were probably the sharpest characters in this movie. Um, and there's also uh, killing by some alligators. You know, just the usual animal-type killings that you would expect, but all at once on a little island where... They're getting revenge for pollution. Ooh, scary. Scary frogs using their scary frog psychic powers. No, it's boring as hell. Instead, the frogs just sit around blorping through three quarters of the movie. You get all these great close-up shots of frogs, like some nature cinematography is going on here, and maybe a documentary is being made. But no, there's interspersed with that parts of... Uh, Sam Elliott and Joan Van Ark having little quasi 70s romance sort of thing, uh, longing stares and looks and whatnots. And Sam Elliott does a really good job. He's a great actor, but really underused. And some of the dialogue is a little rough, and a lot of the acting is pretty bad. <sighs> so this one was a miss for me. Cinematography was good. The shots were all really good. Good camera angles. Some cool shots of light coming through the trees. And lots of really good frog footage if you're into that sort of thing. And there was even an interracial couple, which for 1972 was still kind of risque. Um, but of course, all those people died. Um, one of them, I think the girl died by a snapping turtle. Somebody got killed by a snapping turtle. Uh, it was just such a train wreck. It's not that the concept of frogs killing people bothers me because, you know, it might have been amusing to make fun of or, so, or if it was done well enough, it could have been funny. But it was just so boring. Yeah, okay, people talking, people talking, then frogs sitting there staring at you, blorping, and doing nothing maybe hopping around a little bit they brought in all these stupid frogs and the frogs don't even you don't have anybody pulling rubber frogs off of their necks or anything cool like that there's not a giant frog that comes up like the big frog god or something some sort of lovecraftian nightmare nope none of that not in the budget this was probably a tv movie um it definitely has that feel if it wasn't directly a tv movie because I, I think it was released in theaters in 72 but they definitely had the secondary market in mind because there's nothing super offensive in there and there's a weird morality tale about pollution that's 
not real heavy handed, but it's just kind of seems forced. And it would have been better as just a man versus nature sort of thing without the uh, pseudo political overtones. Otherwise, it was just a boring movie. And the death scenes were ludicrous. uh, They didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, The people were all incredibly dumb, which probably didn't help. Maybe they're supposed to be dumb. I couldn't tell because I could barely pay attention to the movie. It just does not grab you and make you want to watch. It wasn't in any way making me want to sit there and watch the whole thing. It wasn't riveting in that I could make fun of it. It wasn't captivating in the sense that it was an actual good movie. There was nothing there. There was a distinct lack of boobs too and sexy time in general. So there's not even that to hold your interest. It's just a bunch of frogs blorping. So if you, if you have some sort of frog fetish or you just really love frogs or you know, you're one of those Tumblr other kins or something like that, yeah, maybe this is your kind of film. Uh, if you're some sort of like diehard political activist or eco activist, Maybe there's something you could take away from this, but wow, wrong vehicle. I t- uh, if you want some sort of eco-overtone movie, check out James Cameron's Avatar. That's way more heavy-handed and probably, I hate to say it, better written. This was just insanely boring. It's worth watching once, just so you have a bar with which to compare other movies to. Because you'll sit there and say, oh, that movie wasn't very good, but it was better than Frogs. Yeah. This one, just for me, was an all-around miss. It was very well shot, but that couldn't save it. Um, The acting was... eh, It was okay. I'm not going to lie. Some of the actors in there are pretty experienced actors. You'd recognize them from other stuff from the 70s and 80s. And Sam Elliott and Joan Van Ark have been in tons of stuff. I think Joan Van Ark has passed now, but I'm not sure... Sam Elliott, yeah, Tombstone will always be his pinnacle movie for me, or The Big Lebowski. But this was, I don't know if I would even put this on my resume if I were him. I'd actively petition the Internet Movie Database and this company to remove my name from this film if I were in it. It's horrendous. And if you paid more than 3 to $5 for it, you got ripped off and should get your money back. Um, I know it's on DVD that I have my copy on DVD and I've seen it on VHS, obviously, cause it is an older film. It's probably on some streaming services. Um, pretty sure it's on Amazon, but don't quote me on that. And it, it'll probably show up on some of the others like Netflix or Hulu over time. So I would try and watch it for free. If you know somebody that owns this movie, borrow it, but uh, paying money for it. Ooh, you have to be a real diehard B movie fan for this one. Uh, I have trouble sitting through it and I've sat through hundreds of bad movies. Wow. Painful to watch the death scenes, especially were just so over the top silly. So yeah, like I said, this one's a miss for me. Uh, I don't recommend it. Maybe there's something it for you. So I think that's going to wrap this one up. But uh, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you soon.